Every time the water jet is running, there's a weird primal urge to swipe your hand under it as fast as you can and see how bad it would hurt. Would it be a slight score? Would it tear through your hand? Would your hand be gone? We shall know. Today, we're gonna put these three ballistics gel hands through a series of tests, mainly involving the water jet, but a few others. And then we're gonna x-ray them, and we're gonna see what kind of damage is done to these poor guys. I'm quite impressed. There's even skin pattern on these. This poor specimen looks like he had a uh, fibromyalgia. Looks like we got a little osteoporosis going on here. Got some mesothelioma on this guy. So that's what that feels like. I'm 90% sure the saw stop will be activated by this. Okay, we're gonna start with a swipe. Imagine I was adjusting something on the jet and accidentally slipped and went. Yeah, or Beautiful. or you gave in to the primal urge and, and you just, you know, you risked it all. You risked it all. Interesting. I wonder how that got out there, but. Well, you'd be missing the tip of your finger. The bone would still be there. For the most part, it even took a, a little chunk out of your bone right here. But your flesh would most definitely be either hanging off or gone. Gonzo beans, as I they should say. get a raise. And that was quick. I mean, I just, I just swiped that through pretty yeah. fast. Yeah. So let's say you fell asleep with your hand on the cutting table. Correct, that and happens all the time. All the time. All the time. I, I'm always getting drowsy out it here. Happens. And you're just, you know, your hand's sitting there and uh-oh, here comes the water jet as fast as it can move. And we'll see how bad that damage is. Oh, that, uh, that's some damage. Yeah, don't don't be drowsy while working a water jet, people. Yeah. It almost goes through the bone. That's it bad. It rips the flesh off so easily. Yikes. This is what the slow motion footage looks like. For some reason, it's sprayed back and covered the entire camera lens. So we're gonna do one final swipe test here across the palm. Medium fast speed. See how, see how well it goes through the bones. Oh, it got stuck. It was honestly hard to move once I got it into here and it ripped its way out. That's crazy. Yeah, so like, like it, it got stuck right here and then it was like pushed down and stuck and you had to kind of rip it out this way. Oh, oh. that's an entire new terrifying factor that we never thought of. Yeah, like, that the water actually grips onto your hand. You just, have to physically pull it through. Oh, like it shoves you down and holds you there. <laughs> yeah, you might want to just hold your hand there and wait for somebody to turn off the jet. Oh. You'd probably get less damage just waiting for somebody to turn off the jet and trying to pull it out. It didn't go all the way through anywhere though. Oh, nope, right there. Right in the middle, it went all the way through the hand. Oh, because that's where it got stuck. Yep. Look at that. Oh, it's pulling apart. Like you can simply just. So don't mess with the water jet at kids' home. Yep. That's it. That's that's what they say. That's Okay, now we got the clear ones. We're going to pierce right here on the palm. We'll have a nice view of it and we'll see if there's any garnet stuck or what happens. It'll be a great cross section of the hand. Yes. How's he doing? Yikes. Well, he's most definitely got a hole in his hand and right through the backside, right through the bone and everything. You know what they say about people with holes in their hands? They've got bony butts. They sure do. Literally perfect hole right through both of those. Well, uh, put me on the list of people who don't want that to happen to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Here's test on the fingers. Okay, this is the swipe test with no abrasive. 60,000 PSI of water on your fingers.
That looks like a yikes a -roni. That looks like you might not have fingers anymore. Oh, yeah. That yep. gave you a really nice cut across every single finger. Oh, yeah. You definitely have diabetes type 2 after that. Oh, you just, the, old, the, the old D glove trick. The D glove trick will come right off. Um, no, I scheduled a consult to see if I get x ray these. Just... So, if you want to wait in that room right there, he'll be right with you. Okay, perfect. While we're waiting, reminder to send us things to our P.O. box. The info's in the description. Hey, man, why did the skeleton jump in the washing machine? Because he was drunk. Tough crowd. Are you okay if you're. I mean, your fingers are gonna be in that a little bit. Yeah, I can Photoshop it out. I'm just kind of hold like that. Okay, a little radiation never hurt nobody. Well, the good news is your bones are intact. A little better. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's say you fall asleep with your hand in the hydraulic press, just the fingers, and somehow you don't hear it or notice it's coming down, and the person operating it also doesn't notice. Oh. Oh, there's some broken bones. <laughs> <laughs> Completely flattened. That's that's oh, not dude. bone anymore. Yeah. Real bones wouldn't squish; they would shatter. But I assume it's about as hard as a normal bone. I don't know. Well, palm test. It would hurt. Yeah, it would hurt. Yeah, it's kind of makes it uh, a little cringy, doesn't it? Oh. I think that's kind of what your skin would do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's falling off. Uh, so long. Well, uh, that's what we have left. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, we're now gonna test the worst case scenario on the table saw. We have our saw stop here. Ridiculously high. So let's say for whatever reason, you have your saw stop all the way up and you come in full force on the blade here. We're just gonna drop it because that's probably fast enough. Yeah, and just we, see how deep that goes. Yeah, yeah, and we also don't wanna be anywhere near it. No. We'll see if we can get to bone. We're gonna drop it on the palm like this. For those who don't know, the saw stop uses an explosive to launch a piece of aluminum that's specifically designed to stop these blades. And it's incredibly fast. Ah, scary. Though, didn't it? it stopped. It did stop. But it wasn't the kind that saves a limb. No, if it, you... it did not save a limb. Well, that's terrifying. That is horrible. Oh, there, there's half the head. Oh my gosh. No way. It seriously cut it, it directly split in half. It right in two. I thought we had the good saw stop. Oh, well, at least it's blinking red, showing us that something bad happened. So, oh no, there's the break. It just didn't work. <laughs> Do you see where his bones are? They're hanging from the metal. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then these are just, oh look, even the bones in half. Do not touch the table saw. Let that be a lesson to you kiddos. Just missing the middle finger. So the middle finger just is gone. So there's the table saw and that is where the middle finger ended up. <laughs> oh, there's the rest of the finger. <laughs> oh, that's probably 40 feet from the table saw. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Wow. Your that hand is... is gone. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Well, don't touch a saw blade when it's running. 
It literally chopped that middle finger off. Although the ballistic gel works on a touch screen, it might not be the same as the technology in this. So I'm assuming that's the problem, not the saw. Pizza time.